Hi guys, I'm here today with a very interesting device and that's the hand grip dynamometer. Yeah, here we have the box, some description also here in the back. What's really important is that it has a very high capacity of up to 396 pounds maximum can store data for up to 19 people can also compare some results so super interesting could be for you to track your progress in the gym it could also be very helpful to see your progress maybe after you had an accident you are in recovery or you just want to have some fun with your friends and use this as like a party game to compare the strengths of each person so many many different usages so i'm going to take it out of the box show you what you get and then how to use it so again the box here with some of the specs you can see also how accurate it is and also very interesting regarding power supply we can power it with triple a batteries or we can use the built-in rechargeable lithium ion battery and we get even the charging cable and batteries and so here's the device nicely packaged comes also with a short user manual i hope it's nicely focusing so you can see everything here you have even a chart so you can compare where you should be i mean this is also giving you some indication where you are if you have some good strengths or not and so we can use any kind of standard USB A plug. We plug it in here. You can see it's turning on already and shows that it's charging up with this indicator here. We can also use it while it's being charged, but of course it's more convenient when we use it just from the built-in battery or with the AAA batteries, which we can add here in the back. And so we have a lot of possibilities. We can make a quick measurement here just with the start, wait about three seconds. And now it's ready and we just pull here as hard as you can. I'm not pulling as hard as I can, just testing this or showing you something. And you can see it shows the maximum after that. So you don't have to keep it for a long time or so. You just pull for a short moment as strong as you can and then release it it will remember the maximum anyway but we have also much more and so we can configure a couple of things for each user we turn it on here and here we are at the data of the user one we can select the user which we want to adjust or enter here let's say we want to add a new user we click on set and we can set the gender so we have two options here we hit the set again now we can choose the age we hit the set again then we can adjust the next user maybe number three and so on and so on and after entering the data for the user we can start by hitting user then select the user which you want to test either one or two or three or whatsoever here we go with the one which is me then we hit the start button what we can do is to select the kilograms or pounds we hit the on or set button here now we are at pounds and we are ready you can use it directly from here with just pulling really hard can see that was 110 of course a little bit difficult behind the camera what we can see is also the progress here we have an arrow up and you can see the difference between the last reading and this time was around 90 pounds now that's very important to know where is this number coming from so let's do this again and we are here i hit the start again and I just pull here a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. You can see it shows again the top of the reading and the difference, but the difference is coming from the value which we have stored here. So we have to really click here on this button here. When we want to store the result here, I think it was around 76. And so this is the reference value for the next reading. So we hit the start again. And now I pull again, I go a little bit. I think it was lower, yeah. So let's see 
how it's compared to 67 should be lower you can see definitely lower by 8.4 and when i'm happy with the latest reading i can store this again start measuring now let's do a little bit more that was 91 and you can see it is also showing more so that's really important to know we can also access the last reading by hitting this button here you can see we have the different user we can select here the user one and it's showing 67.8 as a last reading and of course we can always see the battery and we can also see how good the numbers are and in this case for me with my age and gender it shows normal so let's do a weaker test here you can see i'm just doing yeah, to, let's say 25 and it shows weak for me which is definitely suitable because for me at my age i should be able to do more but let's do a test here again so this was 110 again and it shows me strong so i would say it is pretty accurate definitely good solid build that's also very important that you have something which is really strong doesn't fall apart anytime soon we have the two power supply really good display readable from everywhere especially if you have a large group and you want to use this for party comparing different people having a lot of fun also very good background illuminated display so i think this can be a lot of fun or just helpful for you if you want to track your progress or compare you with your friends maybe uh, even use it for a really funny party thing also really not easy to carry you don't have to be worried that it breaks anytime soon so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time